initiatives like SkillsFuture, which really focuses on not just paper cases, but skills mastery, also focuses on lifelong learning. So it's not just learning up to the time you get a, a degree or a master, but really uh, ongoing until one uh, uh, is out of the workforce. And also um, really uh, what we call uh, 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 learning for life. You know, so so that's, uh, those are, are things that are very important for our country. And so um, advances such as uh, uh, education, te in te education technology, classrooms of the future, uh, schools of the future, I think these are things that are very, very important because learning does not stop just when one exits uh, formal schooling. So this is very important for us. The learner of the future, we believe that learners of the future are people who are not just uh, bound by even physical walls, classrooms. In Taiwan, I've read about classrooms without walls, in fact. You know, and they go to the mountains, they go to different places to learn. And so the learner of the future will be one who is not bound, who can learn anytime, anywhere. And so uh, 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 Leon spoke about taking this outside of the classroom. I think that's really important uh, to the office, not just to the office, but even outside of this physical space. I think that's where a lot of potential and breakthrough can happen. The employer of the future. Unless the employers also have some mindset shifts in looking at not just paper qualifications, but looking at skills, the mastery of skills, competencies, and, and so forth, they are not going to get the best of people. We have a very tight labor market in Singapore, and so we have no choice but to look at every human resource as the asset, as uh, people who can be, uh, whose potential can be maximized, not just when they leave school, not, not, but really for the rest of their working life. And that's really important as well. So I think uh, there are many things that this today, uh, why today is significant. Because we're really part of the entire movement, looking at classrooms of the future, schools of the future, the learners of the future, the educators of the future, the employers of the future. So that's why today is important. And that's why I wanted to come here to see what you have. I wanted to learn from, want to learn from you as well. I want you to spread this uh, concept of education innovation, blended learning, and, and uh, education of the future. To, to way beyond what Kaplan, uh, the physical bounds of Kaplan and outside here in the rest of Singapore and uh, the rest of the region as well. So thank you for doing this. It's something very exciting, something very important, something very significant for our country. And uh, may you grow from strength to strength in all that you do. And uh, may you also help our young people learn, not just academically, but also in the way they develop their characters. So that together we will do good and we will do even more good for our country, our society, for the world. Thank you very much.